Hi, Ken from DZ Discs, and I have here the uh, Latitude 64 Deluxe Luxury E3 Disc Golf Backpack. This is a full-featured, high-end backpack for disc golf with lots of features, lots of lots of pockets, uh, lots of places to put things. Uh, let's go over all the features on here. We will start on one side and just work our way around. Okay, I'm here on. This will be on the right side of your body on your back. You have a side putter pouch, easily big enough to hold two discs right here, and then a small pouch on the outside for a mini. Uh, not a lot of elastic or stretch in here, but easily good enough for holding two, uh, two putters. Uh, right above that, you have another pocket that is about the same size, so it's about nine and or about 10 inches by 10 inches. You can also put discs in there if you want. They'll fit in just fine. Uh, so I can fit a couple backups, or if you don't want to have your putters on the outside of your bag, you want to put them inside, you can put them in there. Uh, it'll easily fit two. You could probably, uh, oh, you probably cram in a third, but probably two on the inside. You could even have two on the outside right there. Okay, rotate this around just a little bit. And we have a pocket here on the side that is zippered from the front right here. And it goes right in. It covers the whole side here, so you know, it's a, it's not a square pocket, but it's you know seven inches deep on the bottom, four inches deep on the top, and about nine inches tall. So enough room to put all kinds of stuff with a uh, sort of a, fu a front entry for it there. Then we have on the front here, we have a lower pocket right here. Unzips. Enough room, you can stuff all kinds of stuff in there. Now, I note none of these pockets go all the way to the bottom. Uh, so even if they're unzipped, things aren't going to fall out very easy. You got, you know, three inches on the bottom of each of these uh, where there's no zipper. Uh, so it's just kind of half moon across the top there. Okay, then we have a large pouch right here. Um, you can use that to store a putter or something. Um, you know, some people like to have an extra putter here instead of on the side. Uh, and then when I open this up, I'll show you how that folds to the inside. On this side, we have another front entry pocket right here along the top. Right here. Very similar to the other one on the other side, except it has one additional thing. It has a hole that goes through it. Now, it's not a... It's, it's a sealed hole, so you're not going to lose things out of this pocket. But this is for a uh, an umbrella to go through here. You got a strap on the top to secure it, a hole that goes behind this pocket, and then a small footer pouch right here for the bottom of your umbrella. Uh, it does not have a bottom to that, so you do have to strap it in. But that'll hold a pole in there just fine. I don't think you're going to get a chair in here. A chair is going to be too wide to fit through that hole, unless you, you'd have to strap a chair to the outside if you were going to do that. Uh, but uh, or maybe just put one leg through if that's possible. Um, but you got the pouch right there to put something extra. You have a, a couple pencil or pen holders here, right on the top, so that'd be on your upper left shoulder if you're trying to pull them out. Uh, but a couple pencils right there at the top of your bag and an insulated drink pouch with a little bit of a uh, cinch on the top uh, and a drain hole on the bottom. On the back side we have your yeah, it's pretty heavy duty construction here on the backpack. You got your lombardal support, nice padding right there. Let's see if I can get this so you can see a little bit of dimension to it. You can see it's got a little bit of dimension to it there. Let's see on the bottom here. On the bottom, we got a couple rubber runners for your feet, protects the bottom. This is just the same cloth here as the rest of the bag, but it does have these uh, rubber feet right here. Move that a little bit up to the camera, as you can see that. You know, kind of like a, a suitcase or a, a nicer duffel bag would have. Okay. And of course, carrying handle here, right on the back, uh, back of it for just picking things up. Okay, let's open the top pouch here. Now, this only opens this far, so let me uh, rotate this forward. I've set some extra discs in here just, just to show that I could. So I fit an extra six discs here on the top. That's probably not where you put your discs. Uh, this is about 12 inches deep, this whole top pocket. It goes way down in there behind the lower uh, disc pouch. It has a pocket right here. 
see you got a couple different internal pockets one on the inside flap got velcro a little bit of elastic whole size of the uh, of that front so yeah this is you really don't want this flipping down because you don't want anything in there to fall out so you, you hold a, a wallet or whatever else you want in in there in the front on the back we have another little pouch right here along the back wall uh, it's about three inches wide and it has a strap in there so you can attach um, keys or anything you wanted to, to latch down in there. That pocket really isn't wide enough for a cell phone unless it's a really slim model, uh, but you can fit a wallet and your keys in there. It's, I think it's really meant for it to be a key pouch. Okay, now this is traditional here for the main pouch where it has two zippers on the side. Where it's a little bit different is the bottom flap with the Velcro right there is on the inside. So this goes, tucks in to the bag to attach, not on the outside. That's a little bit different. Yeah, of course I have some Velcro there so I can insert this all the way back behind the disc. And then hey, put a nice big driver in there, but another place for a go-to uh, discs, disc storage right there. You, Hold one, maybe probably just one disc right here is a, maybe your go-to driver or whatever right there. You have your your pouch here for all your discs. It does have a central divider that is removable. It goes right down there in the center. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I got sixteen discs in here. And I think I just take took this one, put it in there. So seventeen. 16, well, let's call it 17 is comfortable to put in there, plus 18, 19, 20, and then if you really want to go extreme, 21, 22 on the side pouch, another 6 up here, so you could probably get close to 30 discs in this bag, just if, if all you want to do is carry a, a whole lot of, lot of discs, you could fit about 30 discs into here, uh, but comfortably, you know, you're 16 to 18 in here, uh, plus a lot of room for some go-to spots for uh, extra discs. Uh, really well-built, rugged bag. Oh, and it does come with one other feature here that I should make sure you see, the Rainfly. This Rainfly comes with it, um, and I'm not going to put it on right now, but uh, basically you got a Rainfly that attaches to it, and then it has a flap here that's just easy to access your discs while the Rainfly is on it. Um, but this Nice Latitude 64 Rainfly comes with uh, uh, with the bag uh, as an extra feature uh, to make sure all of your gear stays dry while you're playing. Once again, this is the Latitude 64 Luxury E3 Disc Golf Backpack from DZ Discs, where the disc you see is the disc you get.